<laughs> that was unexpected, wasn't it? Well, so is the return of a character today. Unexpected to all of the LBD audience, because even those familiar with Pride and Prejudice could not have foreseen this because it is a deviation from the novel. The extended version of this episode is available at patreon.com slash Ashley Clements, which is, by the way, my name, Ashley Clements. Jade Andrus, and this is the Look Back Diary. That is right. Jessica is such a dedicated actor, friend. She's joining us from her vacation in Hawaii. So there's a slight delay, but we are just so thrilled that you're here. I I'm genuinely so touched that you're giving us some of your vacation time. So thank you. Anything for Lizzie. You also texted me that. And I was like, oh, my friend Jessica. And then I was like, that also works in Caroline voice where it's not quite... I know. Genuine? <laughs> there is a genuine feeling that if you can't, you can't support friends and artists and creators in all ways and like, what the, what, what the point? What's the point of this? Well, I enjoy supporting you as well. Just saw Jessica on stage. She's fantastic. She's, and you all uh, know she's fantastic because you know her as Caroline. Shall we take a look at this episode, this unexpected return yeah. of Caroline? Let's do it. The sweater is on the door for it, visual interest, so that it's not just a yellow door. I do remember that. <laughs> That's hilarious. It does work. Why was Caroline there? Well, we made you a little bit of a stand-in for Anne de Berg because we made Anne de Berg a wheezing dog, but so you're Catherine's new favorite in order to compare Lizzie and also to have someone that she would prefer Darcy to be with. She's here. How long had this been at that point? Uh, this is episode 68, so uh, six, seven months. But we hadn't seen you since, uh, like, I don't know, it's been like three months or something? Since yeah. Nice. It's not a new dress, by the way. I wore this exact outfit at VidCon. <laughs> As I recall, this is a bridesmaid dress that you're wearing. So, yes, I don't remember it. I definitely do not own that dress anymore. That's the door. <laughs> well, likewise. No, I'm so busy. You haven't seen any of my videos since you left for Los Angeles. I've been super swamped. You know how it is, the move and all. Yeah, about that. I said to you when you were on earlier that there were a lot of times when your writing just, I looked at it and went, I don't know how you make that dialogue work. And then you somehow made it work. And I feel like this is a prime example of that because there are a lot of lines actually for both of us in this episode where I'm like, what? <laughs> really? That's what we're saying? It's just, it's, it's a little clunkier than some of our others. But you sell, sell it. You sell it. And I'm honestly, I don't critique my acting on this, but I'm a little one note. Like, I just, I'm suspicious throughout. It could be more discovery. <laughs> Wait, have they always had captions? Close captioning? Um, I turned them on because we're talking over the episode, so. Oh, I Say, but they got added it. later in the process because, no, we didn't have them when the show was going up in real time, I don't yes. think. Not, not at first, anyway. But accessibility is important. These are your videos. You are doing such a great job with, like, I don't know. I'm not suspicious. 
manipulate you a little bit. But uh -oh, also, like, dress clearly scheming for something. Wardrobe. We don't have that here, so. Do you still have all the hats? Or who has all the hats? It would be Katie Most, and she might. She did for a long time, because we've talked about that, but I don't know if she's still good hat wear. Oh, oh, that's so funny because it's lining up with whatever bird is in Hawaii. <laughs> I hear a bird. I have to go. <laughs> Bye. I'm a terrible. All of a sudden, I mean, what's crazy about that is like the first time anyone calls you out about anything, you're like, I am. I have to go. I'm trying to think if I've ever actually literally used that tactic in in my like in real life. I think you're smoother than that in real life. Mm -hmm. While I have you, I did want to ask you what it was like for you to return to the show because this is a deviation from the novel. Caroline does not show up at Rosings, which is our equivalent, uh, or our equivalent is Collins and Collins. And at this time, you are in London with Jane and in our version, Los Angeles with Jane, which we reference here, but these two don't run into each other. The nature of the public vlogs changed the fact that Caroline even knows that some kind of letter exists. And it makes sense that she would be interested in it, but it is a big departure. I sort of feel like I remember a vibe on set of you being like, wow, I didn't know I was coming back. This is fun. Totally did not know. No, I think when we said goodbye to you at the end of Netherfield, we didn't know like if or when we would see you again. Yeah, no, it was... It's a surprise, a very welcome surprise, but a surprise to be back. Let's take a look at the comments and see what the audience thought of your unexpected return. Fun fact, the Empress of Japan at the time this video took place was in her late 70s and had been wearing her hair the same way for decades. Just further proof that Caroline is lying her face off. That's actually really funny because that's not something that we ever would have, like, really thought about. But yeah, if you're like, I, I do yeah. the Empress of Japan's hair and it's actually never changed. Lee Nix thinks that moment when Lizzie says the words, what letter were spine chilling? Nice tone there. Thank you. Aruj Mahmood says, Lizzie, you've been watching my videos and you want to know what's in Darcy's letter? Caroline, no, I don't. Lizzie, I believe an appropriate answer would have been, what letter me? Oh, shit. It's about to go down. <laughs> yeah. They do like that line. They do enjoy letting the, you get caught, which just means that you've made it a very good villain. Yeah. Rebecca says, all I can think while rewatching this is I hope Caroline saw episode 98 and had every freaking word moment and look emblazoned in her memory forever. Ooh, they're mad at you. It's nice to, it's nice to be mad at somebody, though. I, I wanted to double check and make sure that I was right that this is very different than the book because Caroline and Lizzie do see each other again but they see each other at Pemberley in the book but not now and we kind of swapped them in a way but we also created this different understanding that the nature of the show creates but I ended up on a fan wiki of Jane Austen and I just really enjoyed this sentence Caroline Bingley is a minor antagonist who appears in Pride and Prejudice I think I have read a similar thing too. Well, you were certainly more than a minor antagonist in ours, in part because we end up conflating your role with uh, a few others, and that will uh, continue, although we at this point did not know that that was going to happen. But then I was trying to think, who are the major antagonists? And I realized that they are pride and prejudice. So I was like, who is- I love that. Oh, the, it's an internal obstacle. Internal conflict. We were so happy to have you come back to the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, and I'm so grateful that you took some time out of your vacation to join us on the Look Back Diaries as well. Come to Hawaii. Yeah, next episode, I'll be shooting next Please. to you in Hawaii. Please. I'll be on the beach. <laughs> well, the island Wi-Fi let us down a little bit, which is actually entirely understandable because she is on a an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean.
right now. Isn't it so nice that she joined us? But this is our second major deviation from the plot of Pride and Prejudice in uh, two episodes. And it's one that I think probably developed really organically in the writer's room. If you think about it, well, we can't have Lizzie share the letter because the whole Lydia plot wouldn't happen. It also seems out of character that she would air the dirty laundry like that, especially as she's on this learning journey. But okay, now everyone who watches these videos knows that there is a letter and there's something in them that is a secret. And it does make sense that Caroline would be very interested in that. So we have this kind of unexpected conflict that makes a lot of sense in the universe of Lizzie Bennet. And it feels like the first time that we're going, okay, well, we've taken these characters and the next logical thing is this. And I hope that that was exciting for viewers because now we've really put them, even the diehard PNP fans, in a position of not knowing exactly what's going to happen. It doesn't change the outcome, but we've just introduced the elements that, haha, you think you know where we're going, but in fact, we could go anywhere. We could go anywhere. 